guys and welcome to this week's reading vlog it is it's about 10 o'clock on monday july 6th i'm getting a late start to this i had two options for this week the deal or betrothed by kira Cass. both romances since apparently our muggle studies book club pick for july is an amazon only book which is unfortunate but i'm really excited about that so I did order that and that should be here in a few days. You guys will see that. And also it's on Kindle Unlimited. So if you wanted, you had Kindle Unlimited, you already have the book. So feel free to join us with that. But for my reading this week, we are going to kick it off with The Deal. If you guys haven't seen this book before, this is the book that Gabby has already read and annotated in. So I can't wait to read this book and see her thoughts in this one. I'm very excited about that. And she says that it gives her like Audrey Rose, Thomas Cresswell vibes from Strock and Jack the Ripper. So I'm pretty excited about that. That is my update for today. I've got to do some editing so I can put up the other vlog that I haven't edited yet up. And then I will dig into this one. Hey guys, it is now Wednesday at about 8 o'clock. And I wanted to update you guys. I've been reading a little bit of the deal. I hope there is some serious character development in this because I'm on page 25 so far. Why are all the men in this book assholes? Like, really, really big assholes and just like disgusting pigs. And, I mean like, they're, it, it just like, distreatment of women, like, really bad, really bad. So, I'm hoping that it, it gets better. Um, I will say, the like best part of this so far is Gabby's commentary, obviously, because I love her humor and she just makes like the perfect comments, especially with the asshole guys of just being like, <laughs> like, like she just like, like they made a comment about like them having sex twice. Uh, mind you, I'm on page 25, but it's like not the main character. But they made the comment that they had sex twice in an, within an hour. And she just underlined it with a sticker that said, well done. Like, <laughs> it's just like, I love Gabby's sense of humor. So I'm really enjoying her little like notes and commentary and stickers in here. Um, so by far the best part. And second, the main character, Hannah, is very sarcastic. And she like puts people in, her pl in their place. So I appreciate that as well. So that's my update. Also... Look how freaking cute my little headband is. It's like, oh gosh, you can't even see. It says like bibliophile on it and it's got little book sacks and stuff. Um, yeah, it's really freaking cute. It's from, I'll put the name of the shop on the, um, oh, it's from Fable Bands. Yes, so it's from Fable Bands and um, I highly recommend checking out their shop. Uh, if you follow a little librarian, I believe, there's like promo codes you can get. But um, yeah, it's really nice quality and they've got really cute bookish um, themes on their headbands. So yeah, so I'm going to continue reading this one and see if the uh, character development happens. I will say it's very easy to read. Um, not the best writing style and I'm kind of surprised Gabby rated it so high. So like stuff must be really good later on so that is my update so far and i will check back with you guys probably tomorrow hello and welcome to my kitchen i am literally cooking in the dark because it's messing up the lighting so i mean if that's not dedication i don't know what is <laughs> so i also just realized i can adjust the lighting on my camera i'm, I'm it, we're gonna go with this that way i can still cook in the dark or cook in the light <laughs> so i'm currently making food right now but i haven't updated you and i keep meaning to update you and i keep telling myself like that i'm too busy to update when it's just an excuse so i'm gonna do this while i'm cooking and you guys can just hang out with me while i'm cooking also drink responsibly because i'm well above the age here so what i'm currently reading right now is I'm still reading The Deal, which actually is right here. So, I'm still reading The Deal. I am 110 pages into it. It reads so easy, and it's definitely like a bingeable book. 
and I love all of Gabby's notes. I agree with almost all of them. So, so far, she's like, we don't like the jock. And I'm, Garrett is starting to grow on me. I didn't particularly love Garrett from the get-go because he kind of seems like skeevy, you know? And I'm not, the way that he views women is not great and it's still not great either. But at least he's like owning up to the shit that he does and doesn't pretend to do anything different. So I do appreciate that. So like for instance, he's like, I'm not a relationship person. Like that's not what I'm looking for. And he's like, I told you that from the get go. So at least he's being upfront and honest about what and who he is and not like leading people on and hurting people. And people are, are just like asking what he's not offering of him. So there's that at least. Do you guys wanna know what I'm making? I'm making this, I'm, I'm attempting at this instant pot shrimp boil. I hope my shit looks like that. We'll find out. Trevor was definitely the cook in the relationship. And I'm now having to figure this out by myself. <laughs> so I'm, I'm figuring it out because I have to. Although he was just over here and he had to help me figure out how to cut the onion correctly because I was cutting it and then my eyes cannot handle that shit. So then he took over. <laughs> Remember when you guys watched me uh, make tea for the first time? That's how I feel like this is. I just like chop these corn things in half. Well, not even in half, like in thirds. And I'm like, what the f Maybe if I like saw it? How? Maybe I should have to do it in like little chunks and wear it down. This is turning into like a cooking issue. Um, So that worked out. I just had to go from different angles. So if y'all are ever wondering or doing that, but yeah, back to the books. I am enjoying it. I'm really enjoying Gabby's uh, notes throughout the book. And I agree with them. I love Hannah, which is like, I feel a little weird saying that, but I freaking love Hannah because her sarcasm is great. And like the sass that she gives and she, and, like even Gabby, I think Gabby was is feeling a little bit more for Garrett than I am um, because she was like, wow, she's being harsh. And I'm like, no bitch, like put him in her, or put him in his place, like type of thing. Um, so I'm like very into how sassy and how like not into Garrett she is. I mean, she obviously is, but like that she was not just gonna like fawn over him. And I love that. And I loved like the scene when Garrett first heard her sing. I also like that in this book, we are definitely getting like actual like backstories and it's a little bit more grittier than I was expecting. I was expecting it just to be sex, honestly, especially with a cover like that. Oh, if you guys go on Goodreads, the cover is even worse. Success. I'm enjoying that one so far. I just finished, finally finished Wild on audiobook last night. I'm not gonna rate it because I feel like it took me so long to, this kinda sucks. It took me so long to read it that I feel like I can't give it a super high rating because, and I just feel weird because it was a good book but it just took me so long to get through because it was such a gritty time and she went through so much but the story is very fascinating so i mean there is that look how gross this corn on the cob looks i hope that's still okay to eat you think a girl from iowa would know whether or not like corn was good or not but i literally just bought these tonight i would hope that they would so i finished wild such a cool book uh, especially if you are like Pacific Northwestern person because Westerner, if you will, because you get this like 
I've seen a lot of the things that she was talking about and I know what she's referencing to. So like I could go do and see all those things that she was talking about, like most of it, which is pretty cool. And it just is like a really cool experience. And I thought there was gonna be some like bad parts where she was taken advantage of. And I don't consider this a spoiler. She does not get taken advantage of or harmed, which is great. Um, because I was really, really worried that that was gonna happen. But I, I enjoyed it overall. Just took a while to get through. Um, so now I'm so excited because the next one that I'm going to listen to finally came into my library. Clap when you land for my audiobook. And I'm so excited that that finally came in. I'm not sure what it is actually about, but I love Elizabeth Acevedo's writing and her audiobooks are always fantastic. So I'm really excited to just go into that one blind and see what that one is about because it works for Poet X and I'm glad that I went into that one blind because I think I would have probably DNF'd it and I ended up really enjoying that book as well. So that is my current update and I will see you guys in a little bit. Hello, it is the next day. What day is it? It is Tuesday at about 9.30 and I wanted to update you guys. So. I've started listening to Clap When You Land. Also, I love this cover, it's stunning. Also, the, they updated the cover on Goodreads too, so I wonder if they're gonna re-release it, because um, that cover is also really pretty. But I am about an hour into that, um, so I'm 21% of the way through. I forget how short Elizabeth Acevedo's uh, books are. Um, I love the way that her audiobook sound is just beautiful the way that um the the narrators that she always puts on is beautiful and I, i'm pretty sure she narrates almost all of hers as well so yeah i am like loving that uh so this one is about two gay girls um and their relationship growing up and them being dominican and about um her father dying and also just like living up and, and growing in their life and it's really good so far i didn't expect anything less from her i i really adore her writing style so i wanted to update you guys on that i haven't physically read anything yet like since i've last checked in yesterday but i did get a package so i thought i would pop this baby open because the yeah, next book club pick finally came in. So this one is Only When It's Us by Chloe Lees or Lice maybe. But this one sounds so freaking good. If you guys like it's a new adult romance that has so much goddamn sass in the like just the back of the book that I'm like we need to read that so i'm very excited about that that will be at the beginning of august and so i'm as soon as i'm done with the deal i'm gonna hop into this one so i'm not rushing to finish that one again um because i feel like every <laughs> live show i'm always like the day of finishing it so this one has 357 pages so i'm gonna pick up that one after i'm done with the deal but I am going to continue listening to Clap When You Land, and I will let you guys know what I think. Hey guys, it is now Wednesday at about 8 o'clock, and I wanted to update you. I'm dying from this book. So, <laughs> I'm on page, I'm about 140, I'm on chapter 17. I, okay, this is going to be spoilers if you have I haven't read this book, just a heads up. So I'll put this book down once the spoilers are done with this. So I just got to the point where they finally kiss. Um, that scene is so weird because I don't like that he's coercing her into kissing him. Um, but phrasing it like a challenge, I don't know. Because I could see it being kind of like a flirty gesture, which is what it's supposed to be. But it, Gabby makes like a point in here that she's like, I don't like that he's pressuring her to do it. Um, and she does mention like that he lets her make the first move. But she goes, not sure I like him pressuring her, although it seems to be in jest. Still not okay. And I agree. 
I didn't particularly love that part of that, but I also like the like teasing type of thing too. So that like uh, that part was great. And then when the friend walked in, she has so much of an ego to be like, no, yeah, I was just practicing kissing, and I like hilarious. And then. I can't believe that she was like, no, yeah, I, I do need a second opinion just to save face. Like, you would, you don't want to, you don't want it to get out that you've been seeing Garrett behind everybody's back. So the better alternative is you're just going around kissing random people to practice your kissing skills. Not a ton of sense to me, but whatever. Um, but I loved this like challenge part of this because then. It like makes, I haven't gotten to it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to make Garrett be like, what the hell, don't kiss my girl. And I think that's going to like make him think that he wants a girlfriend because he's not the relationship type because he's all about hockey. So yeah, but I'm really enjoying this. It's definitely very entertaining and I'm loving the characters. I, Garrett's starting to grow on me, but I still don't agree with a lot of the things he does but I'm, I'm gonna continue reading this. Also, I've been listening to Collap When You Land, so I am about 60% of the way through it. I've got about two hours left of this one, and I'm really enjoying this one as well. It's absolutely stunning. I just, Elizabeth Acevedo is always going to be such a high-ranking author for me. She just has beautiful writing, and the way that she tells stories, like, it's so, I, there's not another word word besides beautiful that I just eat up anything that she puts out because I just want to listen to it forever like it's so it's so like the way that she tells the stories and like I love it so I'm really enjoying this one and they're getting to like the climactic point I think if we haven't already reached it I'm pretty sure we reached it but who knows because there could be some more um conflict coming up as well too but I'm really, really enjoying that one as well. So overall, this has been a pretty good reading blog. Um, so I'm going to continue reading The Deal, and I will let you guys know what I think. Hello, uh, this is Ending Hannah. I realized I never closed out this vlog. I wanted to say that I ended up finishing uh, Clap for your, or clap When You Land. Um, I ended up giving them one of five out of five stars. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous book. I recommend any Elizabeth Acevedo's works and I've raved about her enough in this vlog but I wanted to say I did end up finishing that one and I really really enjoyed that one. Also, grabbing my stack over here, um, I'm still in the middle of reading The Deal. I am 153 pages into this one on chapter 18. I'm really enjoying this one as well. Stay tuned for my next reading vlog, which will start pretty soon because the reading rush is happening. I just decided today that I was going to do that. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys next week. Thank you for watching. Bye.